Welcome back to Off Grid Roadrunner Ranch. This week we are finishing our water filtration so we can move to the property full time. We are installing an off grid specific UV sterilizer. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, Sagan for you. Check it out. UV sterilizer. We just got it. We're going to be installing this into our trailer here. Let's do a little quick unboxing. We haven't even opened it up yet. Let's see what we got. So first things first, let's get those out of the way. All right, two bulbs, the tank, the brackets, some O-rings, and the ballast. It looks like instructions. All right. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at this first. So, stainless steel, obviously. You put in your bulb through the end here. So, you just slide that bulb through there. So, this is glass. I don't know if you can see in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not, I was, it's not yeah. glass. Though. Yeah, it's like glass. Yeah. Here, let's look at the other side. Open it up. Unless the, oh, you know what? Maybe the tube. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's not. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you're right. So that, so the tube goes in there. You use the little wa the little rubber washers here. And then you put it in here and then put that on top of there. And then the bulb goes in there and then the water surrounds the bulb. And it has a in and out, one inch, both sides. Oh, and then see, this is where the wires will go through. You put your bowl probably in this direction. Mm -hmm. Voila. You hook up your ballast. So let's look at the ballast next. Now this one, we bought for a reason. The reason why we really bought this is because it had a pressure sensor in it. So what happened is, we're out great while we live out here. And these things are great when you're at home. You can plug it into the grid and it can run all day and you don't have any problems. Here off grid, you want to run it only when you're using it. So, we got the one that has a pressure sensor. I believe that's what this is right here. Come on, break it. Alright, that's what that is. So, you got a couple things here. You got your price transformer for the power. That plugs in. Power looks like there's an on and off switch here with a nice. Water protective little switch. There's your little thing that plugs into your bulb. And then there's the big thing. So it has a flow sensor. You know, I you can see in there. But once it senses it, the pressure reduces down. And what it does is turn on the light. So it'll only be using power when we're using it. So it saves a lot of power. It costs a little bit more, not much. I think we paid three or four hundred dollars for this but uh, we're going to go ahead and set this up now we're going to go ahead and put in the uv sterilizer what i've done up to this point is we had this we had the pump put in a long time ago we have a pressure tank we have it coming over here we also have added irrigation in between that time we come over here and then i have this ball valve here that we put planned so a couple weekends ago i came in here and i added this on to a spin down filter i believe this is 50 micron filter Great thing about that is it'll keep bigger sediments out of the out of the filters. Just turn that bad boy like that and it'll clean it automatically and turn it back up. And you don't have to worry about changing the filters as much. I got an ag, uh, iron and basically an iron filter first and then I have a carbon filter in the, on the other side. Uh, we have well water here so that's what we think is probably going to be the best for us. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off over here, go up. And then I'm going to have the UV sterilizer, which I showed you earlier. And it's going to go right down over here. And then I'm going to bring the, bring it down over here. And then we're going to run it to our trailer water. The way we have it run right now is we have water going to a hose spigot outside through this system right here. And it pumps through here. It goes through a hose to our regular RV hookup. We're going to hook it up 
or it stays inside the trailer so I don't have to worry about freezing and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and get to that, but that's kind of the plan. That's kind of the overview. Everything's a mess because we have all our tools and everything needed to do this job right here, but we're ready to go. So let's get it done. So what we're doing here too is we want to make sure you have enough room to put the bolt in here. So let's test that out real quick. Does that look straight? Yeah, that's straight enough. So this is going to be our water in. It's going to come up here. There'll be a cap here. The bulb will go in there, but we'll access and put new bulbs in by sliding this way. So let's just grab a bulb and check that. All right. So earlier we thought that the um, but there was two bowls. It's actually not. One of them is a tube that you put in first. So we're going to take that tube out. Slide it in here. Oh boy. Needs to go that way a little bit. Ooh, barely. And then you stick it out at the end there. See that? Then they say basically, basically a half an inch. For the rubber washer. And you have this little cap. And just tighten that down. Like that? Okay. I don't think it matters which side goes where. Maybe it did. Alright. It has an on and off switch here. And then this guy, the pressure switch, plugs right into this guy. Should be 110, so it shouldn't matter. One for alternating current, so it shouldn't really matter. So maybe I'll do a little hook or something here. I know we can plug that into the power that we just put in. Oh, look, it even has lights. It's kind of cool. Where's the lights? Right here. So maybe we'll put it that way so we can see. Yeah. If it's working. Alright. Get a couple more screws. There you go. Something like that. I have to move that down a little bit. But it's kind of cool. Gonna go down, it's gonna go through our little mess right here, and it's gonna go underneath our little trailer right here, our little trailer bench seat to our water system. So we have the plumbing inside for the winter time and for the summertime. Winter time is it freeze, summertime it just gets so hot sometimes it comes in just blazing. You can have a hot shower without even wanting one, so that should help it out.
drill bit. Just gonna drill through some stuff. We'll come back or over here where we're gonna connect to the main water source. But now we gotta go underneath our underneath our stove and our oven and refrigerator. Get in that area over there. So that's where we're going next. So right here, I cut into the RV water supply coming right off the hose bib from the outside. So basically bypasses the hose 100%, goes directly into the supply for the trailer. our fingers that we can go ahead and have no leaks. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Turn on the water. Boom, UV on. Turn off the water. Boom, UV off. Perfect for off grade. UV on. UV off. Doesn't waste any power. Pretty cool. No leaks. So that's it for this week. Do us a favor. If you like our content, please comment, like, and subscribe down below. We'll see you next time.